Hello and thank you for watching this video. Today I just uh, picked up a real mower. This is a Fiskar Stay Sharp Max. And here's a look at the mower. And for a real mower, it uh, looks like they put a lot of work into the design of this. It's a pretty uh, sophisticated looking real mower. It has a chain. The Stay Sharp is not supposed to be sharpened from what I understand, so I'm not going to try to mess it up by sharpening it. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good looking mower, so let's go ahead and get started on it. Here's where we make the blade adjustment at. And it's set at one inch right now. I'm going to test uh, a little spot out on my grass. To make the adjustment here, you really need two hands. Let me show you how to do that. So with my right hand, I'm going to grab the handle here, and make sure that I'm not going to cut my fingers. And I'm just going to pull this knob, adjustment knob out. So it looks like we're right at two inches. And that's where I moved it at. Now that I've made adjustments to the blades, I'm going to adjust the handle position so that it's comfortable to push. And uh, if you do make adjustments to the blades, you will have to go back and adjust the handle more than likely because it does change that. So uh, as far as the handle positions go, there are four positions. That's done right here and here. Um, I am currently in position number three, and that is going to be the position that I, I'm going to I'm going to have for myself. Uh, let's go ahead and put it in position one. I'll show you the difference from one to three. So that is position one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, really there's too many people that's going to be using position one that is position four comes up to like mid stomach here so that's uh, quite a big difference here between four and three I would not be so comfortable pushing that so for me, it's back to position three. And what I'm really looking at is uh, just a comfortable push. And when I have to turn, I want to turn without having to lift the front wheels so they're not coming off the ground. I'm not having to hunch over to push the mower. Now I'm going to try to adjust the blades so that they don't hit the stationary blade. So the stationary blade is right here and it's just uh, the blade that the, the real blades are cutting against. As you see it turning here. These are sharp. So uh, I'm wearing gloves for this. but. Uh, just, I put this in the highest position to do this. I'm just going to roll it and see where they're hitting at. Let's look over here because I think that's where they may be hitting. And it may not be all, it may just be one that's hitting. One of the reels here. See, it's already hitting there. right there so I would have to get behind it and push that because it's it's almost jamming it see I can push it through but uh, so we want to adjust that right there Okay, to make the adjustment on this side here, the left side, there are two bolts, one right here and one right up here. Uh, those are supposed to be 13 millimeter, so let me grab a socket 
and a wrench and let's see if we can loosen those. Loosen it about one full turn. And the same on the right side, the bolt right here and the bolt right here. Now with the four bolts loosened, the two on each side, there are two bolts, one on each side, that we want to adjust the blades with. So getting behind the mower, we would adjust this counterclockwise to um, open the width between the stationary blade and the real blades. Uh, if we want to close that gap, we would turn it clockwise. So since I'm hitting on this side, I'm going to adjust that bolt first. So you can see again where I'm hitting right in here with that one blade. I think it's right there. So I'm going to go counterclockwise. See if that did anything. Okay, you don't hear hear that hitting anymore. Alright, so we're clear. All the blades are clear here. Now we can start uh, getting our cut where we want it. Now I've got the uh, mower turned upside down. I want to test the cut with a piece of printer paper here. This is about an inch. Okay, let's go. I'm just going to pull these blades. All right, so we're gonna put the paper in. Let's start on this end. There's a cut. Try to go with every blade. That's a cut there. That's a cut. 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 Okay, so you can see that uh, we're still hitting a little bit here, and I found that it's almost impossible to get every blade to clear and still get a really good cut. So as long as most of the blades are not hitting, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to try to cut it and see how it cuts and see how it feels. But uh, yeah, I've spent quite a bit of time trying to get this adjusted, so that's the conclusion I've come to. You're just going to have to probably have one or two hitting. So anyway, let's go try it out. Drop the blade back into the position that I want. Let's try closing the chute here so that the cut grass will just come out the front.
So I've got some new fescue here. Looks like it's maybe four, five, maybe six inches. The tallest. Let's take a path through there and see how it cuts. Here's what I'm going to cut today from the sidewalk there to the hedges there. Um, it's March, so it's not too tall, but it, uh, it's got a lot of weeds here. And the weeds are, you know, some of those weeds are like about eight inches tall. So I'm not sure the real mower is going to be able to cut some of this stuff. Uh, but uh, we'll see what it looks like after we get finished. Okay, just finished. I guess it was like 15 minutes. Got the heart rate up. Uh, the mower, mower pushes real well. Just being a real mower in general, you're gonna miss. You're gonna miss stuff like that because it's gonna hit the bar first before it hits the blades. Now this kind of stuff is going to be left behind. So it's really good for scissoring the tops of the grass. This is prob probably not the ideal situation or lawn for uh, a real mower, but uh, yeah, some of the long stuff will hit here and it will just start bending it over before the blade will get to it. But uh, yeah, it's a smooth little mower, I like it, as far as the way it pushes. Ergonomically, it's, I like the way it feels, the handle and all. They recommend that you oil the chain at the end of the season, or in my case, probably the uh, beginning of the season here. But you can take a look at the chain here. I took the cover off, two millimeter uh, bolts here that are holding it on. I really didn't need to take it off because there's a hole right here that you can spray your lubricant through to uh, lubricate the chain. But since we have it off, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just spray it. Uh, also, if you want to take the chain off, if you have you know break the chain or need to replace it. We just need to remove this link right here. Just pry that. Uh, I think with the screwdriver, it's been a long time since I've taken them. It's like a bicycle chain. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and spray it here. And just rotate the wheel here. Probably needed to do it on the top, but would be the best. Uh, okay, and also, you know, any moving parts. Wheels here. Now let's put the chain guard back on. So I guess that'll be it for the Fiskars Real Mower. I have to say it's the best real mower that I have seen or used. And when you're finished, just pull the handle up for easy storage. Thank you for watching. Until next time, have a great day. Take care.